Today's recipe is roasted cauliflower with Indian spices. It turns out spicy, tangy, and delicious. Let's make this together. We will start by preheating our oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit or 204 degrees Celsius. Next, we will line a baking tray with parchment paper and add in medium-sized cauliflower florets. If you would like to blanch your florets, you could do that as well. Just make sure to dry them before you add it onto the tray. Next, we are going to drizzle some oil. I'm using avocado oil and I'm rubbing the oil in really well onto every floret. Next, we're going to season with some salt and we're going to make sure that the florets are placed kind of not too crowded because we want them to brown really well. And this is ready to go into the oven for 20 to 30 minutes at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. If you prefer a more crunchy texture, then you could do 15 to 20 minutes instead. And for the dry masala, we will combine a quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder, half a teaspoon of cumin powder, one teaspoon of coriander powder, half a teaspoon of black pepper powder, one teaspoon of garam masala powder, one teaspoon of Kashmiri red chili powder. This is not too hot. And lastly, one teaspoon of garlic powder. We are going to mix all of this and this is going to be sprinkled onto our florets and make them absolutely delicious. So this has been 20, I think like 25 minutes in the oven. Let's taste for salt, add some more salt if needed. And next we are going to generously sprinkle the dry masala mix that we just made. Make sure to coat well using a spatula so that the masala coats also with the oil that is on the tray and that way it also cooks better. We are also going to squeeze some fresh lime juice for some tangy flavor. Now this is ready to bake for another 2-3 to three minutes till the masalas are toasted and it looks beautifully brown like that. This smells so good guys. You could garnish with some coriander leaves and enjoy.